Hey guys, how you doing? It's Andy Elliott. I'm here today with my man, Rob. Rob is out of Pennsylvania and Rob has got a secret that he's going to tell you how he crushed it last month. He's only been in the business for a month and a half. And I'm going to tell you, he has a little secret that I've never really heard of. I've, I've seen guys do it, but Rob has figured out how to dominate it. And, um, I want Rob to teach it to you guys because I'm going to tell you, Rob, how many cars did you sell last month? And how many did you sell from doing this little trick that you have figured out? Uh, we did 18 last month. And from this trick, we got 13 of them. Awesome. So you took an extra 13 car deals in the month of February by doing what you're about to tell us. Is that right? Yes, sir. I love it. Okay. Well, Rob, introduce yourself. You've been in uh, insurance for 17 years. You just started. And then why don't you take it from there? and tell us what you did and how, how every, every one of our salespeople in this country can do the same thing that you did and they should do it. Sure. Hey, thanks for having me on. First of all, I appreciate it. But you know, the biggest thing about sales of any kind, seeing people and closing people, and I knew basically what I needed to find to be successful was to get in front of as many people as I could. And I wanted to find a way to do that without putting out a ton of money. So I kind of found this niche that works for anyone, um, whether you have any money or not, to get more people in front of you. And basically what I do is I throw a whole bunch of lines out there with hooks on them on Facebook. So I, I find a local dealership, you know, that's running some type of ad, whether it's, you know, credit forgiveness or, you know, whatever it may be. And then I just kind of scroll down to all of their comments and then I instant message each one of those people. So basically, you throw out some kind of hook, right? Like, hey, I'm Rob from Luther Ford. You know, I specialize in getting people bought that may have been turned down before. I'd love to help you. Um, you know, we do the best we can on trades and also on uh, payment and, and rate. How can I help you today? And I just send a ton of those out. If there's 400 comments, now you got to make sure you don't get put in Facebook jail. So you want to do like 20 an hour and just send that hook out to every one of those people. And Tell then me what that means. Tell me what that means. Um, you said put in Facebook jail. You're saying you don't want to cause an issue with Facebook. So you probably send about 20 messages an hour. Is that right? Right. Yeah. Cause when I first started doing this, I found out real quick, if you just copy and paste messages and hit a bunch of people, they'll lock you out for 24 hours and that sucks. So I found out that if I do 20 of them around 20 every hour, then you're good and you won't get, you won't get so, shut down. So, so you're making a, great um template like what you want to say unless you know the customer unless the customer's comment on that facebook page is unique most of it is like how can this work for me right and then right. you have a generic response that you say to them hey you know reach out to me because i'm actually 10 times better than what they're doing is that right yeah and the other thing is too you have to realize like these people are getting tons of messages in their inbox anyway so a lot of times they may think they're talking to the people that they put that ad, you know, who, that they commented to their ad. They don't even know that you're someone else because they've probably hit, you know, three or four different dealerships that they're looking at. So you sold 13 cars off it. It cost you zero money. Yep. And all you did is have to basically troll the dealerships probably within a 20, 30 mile radius. Right. Right. That are close to you. You know, they're, they're going to be visiting these people anyways. Right. If something yep. works out. And then obviously they wouldn't have responded to that place if they weren't close anyways. So you're finding close customers. They're actually people that are in the market because they wouldn't have responded to the ad and commented if they weren't interested. Right. Right. And the other thing about them too, is people like to do as much as they can online. So I actually get those folks whenever they hit me up, I actually get them to put in a credit app and start working on like, Hey, let's see what you get qualified for. That'll make things a lot easier. Look, I don't want to drag you down here, you know, for three, four hours, you know, let's get everything done now. And that way, when you stop down at the dealership, you're just going to pick up the car. Dude, I love that. So it's real simple. So the customer uh, comments on another store's Facebook page, right? Some sure. kind of event, something special that they have. And then you reach out, and then basically you say, Hey, you know, I'm down here at ABC motors. My name's Rob. I'm like 10 times better at all these things. Why don't you reach out to me for a quick second? I got something for you. Exactly. When they do most of the time, like if it was a special finance app like that one, you would say, look, I can get two seconds of information and I can put everything together. So you're just driving down here, picking up your car. Correct. 
That's what they want to do. You're taking care of it that way. They love you. You get the lead. It, it doesn't cost you anything. And that way you're not standing outside all day. Like we talked about earlier, like most salespeople just waiting on the next customer. Yep. And you can filter through so many more that way. Mm -hmm. You know, like I might have, you'll have the low hanging fruit, right? That are going to hit you up right away. You know, yeah. you might have about a 50 or 60 that you send. Maybe you have like 10 that hit you up like real fast. And then the other ones, you may have to send them like a teaser every day. That's basically what I do. So every day I go through that whole list of people that I have messaged and I send them another line, you know, basically just to stay at the top of their inbox. And then awesome. as the month goes through, I mean, I just delivered one on Friday that I sent the original message to them like February 3rd and they came in and, and picked up the car. So. I love it. So um, you would recommend finding the local dealerships in the salespeople's area, right? Yep. And then going to Facebook and searching for them. Is that right? Yeah. yeah just going to Google first and put car dealerships close to me. Right. And then it's going to bring up a list and then just hit them one by one on Facebook and see who's running ads. And then I just do that about every week, go back through that list, see who's next. Well, especially on a rainy day, right? I mean, look, if your day's loaded up, you know, it's either we have a customer or we're looking for one, right? I mean, that's the life of us because time's money. So we go to work to make money all day long. But any downtime you have, if there's not a lead, a fresh up or, one, or something in front of you, um, you're going to Facebook and that's your attack. Yeah. And the beauty of it is today, you know, on your phone, you can be walking through the lot doing it. You know what I mean? Like it's just a yeah. constant just constantly rolling trolling through them <laughs> i love it dude and when he says trolling i i envision guys i envision rob trolling on a boat with a hundred lines in the water exactly. and then the guy next door to him sitting there on the dock with one pole in the water expecting to bring home a whole stringer full of fish rob's going to bring home a whole stringer full of fish because if one line isn't hitting the next line's hitting right Sometimes they all hit at once and some days they don't hit at all. But when you got the poles in the water, there's always activity, right? Well, and that's like the one day I delivered four, you know, and then the next day, maybe I do one and then maybe I do two the next day. But, you know, it's just constant, it's just constantly hitting them. You know, Rob, let, let, let's talk about this real quick. This is something I think that's really important. I don't want anybody to miss. You've been selling cars for a month and a half. Right. A month and a half. And you delivered 18 last month and 13 of those you generated on your own with zero money. Right. Can anybody imagine what Rob's going to be doing a year from now? <laughs> He's dangerous, man. And you're just getting it figured out. So um, number one, A, I really appreciate you sharing this with everybody. I think this is very generous of you guys. When Rob told me this, I had to, I had to ask him, I said, can we share this? Because most guys are stingy and they're like, nah, let's not tell nobody. Um, Rob is 37. How many kids you got? Six. Woo. That's why I got to work so much, man. I got six kids. They like to eat a lot, so I can't be timid. <laughs> I love it. No, listen, man, I'm telling you, at 37, six kids, he's grinding it out. He's been in insurance sales for 17 years, just got in the automotive industry. I learn something new every single day, never stop training. Rob, you're going to go so far. Thank you for sharing this with everybody. And I'm telling you, everything that you gave everybody today, the one percenters that actually want to make the two, three, four, five hundred thousand a year, they're going to take this little bit of information. And the next time they have downtime, they're going to hammer it. Now, look, it doesn't always work 100 percent of the time, but you have to do it 100 percent of the time. Am I right? Correct. Yeah, so there's days that you send out messages and you don't get any responses. What would you tell somebody that does this for a couple of days? Nothing uh, just, works in a couple of days? Keep hammering it? Yeah, just keep dumping it into the funnel, right? It's a funnel and a conveyor belt. You got to dump the people in the funnel to get them out the door in the car and the conveyor belt. Yeah, I love it, man. Dude, your, uh, your, your little niche here that you have is amazing. Everybody's on Facebook, by the way. And most people, when they get a response on Facebook, um, they get excited. It's like this endorphin that's in them. It's like, bing, and they're like, oh my gosh, who is that? Oh, it's Rob down the street. I don't even know who Rob is, but he's saying he's got great rates. How did Rob know about me? And guess what? There you go. And next thing you know, um, you have a lead. And then you said that as you go on through the week, you'll go through and drop little one-liners on all those messages. 
just yeah. so people can, you know, bring that message back to the top. Is that right? Right. Yeah. Because just because they don't answer you, I guess that's probably a, a good thing to throw out there. Just because somebody answers you, doesn't answer you. It doesn't mean they're a no, it means they're a no right now. Right. But right. it might just be they're off Facebook for three or four days. You know, maybe they don't check it all the time. So it yeah. takes some time for them to get back and see that message. So if they get a bunch of other messages while they're off, and if you're not constantly putting something out there to them, you're going to be way down on their list. So you just want to throw something out to keep kind of scrolling to the top. That is great because I'm milking all this out of you. What would a be, a, what would be a one little one liner that you would send? Um, I would just put, Hey, are you picking up your car? Literally? That's it. Hey, are you picking up your car? Cause they don't, they're going to open it. Cause they think what, what car, what are they, what's he talking about? That is great, dude. So Rob <laughs> says, do you want me to, to, to send you your check or not? <laughs> exactly <laughs> i love it man he's a smart guy man he's a businessman all right rob i appreciate you sharing everything with everybody i hope you have a blessed day i'm very glad that you shared this there's tons of people that are going to love this if you guys like what rob had to say um thumbs up the video put a comment below and uh you're welcome to re reach out to rob he's in pennsylvania he'd love to help you thank you rob i appreciate your time brother and um guys have a blessed day